just bought this. Now, the trouble is that this is faulty. Um, I say I've just bought it. I've purchased it off eBay. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Squeaky, squeaky. Now, I can do... Ooh, first test. I can smell the batteries, as you can probably see. Oh, yeah. It's a bit out of shape. So I'm going to take this back off and see what these batteries look like. So yeah, I'm going to take this, these screws out. Wow. It's instantly lifting. So definitely blown up a bit. Save it to the last screw. So we've got one last screw in the side here, and then the back should pop off. There we go. Oh, there's a few more. <laughs> Some screws have shredded. They've already popped. The power of the batteries. The power of the massive batteries. There we are. Oh, wow. So, that's knackered. I can feel that's knackered. And that's knackered as well. It smells beautiful. Hopefully there's no damage on these boards, which doesn't look like there is. All the connectors are there. That's good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I've got all the connectors. The boards look good. As far as I can tell. I just need to replace those cells, which shouldn't be too bad. I think I've already got them. So, I'll show you what I've got to do to get this sorted. Good luck. I need it. A little bit of an extra thing. So disconnect these. This main positive cable you need to unscrew from in there. Disconnect these cables from that and then they'll come out. Yeah, that's really damaged, that is. Puffed up like a bloody balloon. I need to look at the cells individually and see if they've got anything left in them. This one looks like a good one. It's not, it's quite thin still, but I can still feel there's, there's a dip in the middle and then the middle, there's like bus bars that go inside the battery and they're, uh, they're yeah. Not good. That back feels flat. So that one feels good. I'll get some good cells out of it. This one's got a little cable toy holding it in place. I'll have to release that cable toy. And that last one could come out, which is also damaged. Beyond repair, probably. But we'll see. Right, now all three batteries are out. I've got an empty pack, which looks good. It's mint inside there. No liquid damage of any kind. I've got that one cell there, which, again, 
I think there might just be a couple of cells that are bad in that. I've got to check the voltages. Uh, that one's knackered and that one's definitely knackered. So yeah, thank you. Well, Curiosity's got the better of me already. Uh, I want to see what this looks like on the inside. So very gingerly, carefully. I'm going to open this up. And then we can test what the levels of the cells are at. Now they shouldn't be that hazardous, they're only a 10 volt pack. Well, they're not 10 volts, they're actually 16 volts. Or about, they're probably more than that. But yeah, they're all 3.3 .3 volt cells. So they should all test around about that. I'm going to try and test these whilst recording. So 3.2, that's on the pack that's bubbling up. That's on this first pack, which is like a balloon. So what's the second pack like? Three point two one six. Three point two. Three point two. Three point two. That's the total voltage. It's sixteen point two five. I'll make these others. So that's the first one. Let's try the second one. Sixteen point four two, so that's kind of good. And then this last one. Ah, Fourteen. So this is where there's a problem in this last cell. That's why the BMS would have turned off. But even still, that's a problem. So that'll need repairing. But this has got the actual issue. It does look a bit on the bulky side. So let's get into this one. So I've managed to find the bad egg out of all of it, which will topple down all the dominoes. When there's one bad egg, they all fall. So the so this cell here can do one-handed. Yeah, that one and that one is 1.6 volts. So that's the dead cell. All the rest is showing a, a good voltage, um, but there is physical blowing up damage going on. So they're all going to have to be released to, to find out what to find out what's going on exactly. But that'll be another fun video, I think. See you next time. So I've undone the tape on that one. It kind of popped open. I'm just about to undo the tape on this one and see if this one pops open as well. Very gently, because I don't want to. I don't want to break into the cell. Oh, this one hasn't popped open as bad. You 
can see how badly damaged this end cell is. And probably that one. You can smell, I can actually smell some, uh, some bad stuff coming off that one. So, yeah. I'm going to uh, desolder these massive connections and take these batteries out. And find some replacements for it, which hopefully I've got, fingers crossed.